Ice climbing is an extreme sport, so it is important to follow safety rules. During competitions, athletes must be properly equipped and have the following obligatory equipment. Helmet, UIA certified. Used for protection from ice and ice axes. Harness, UIA certified. For lead climbing and safety in case of falling. Only a figure of eight knot is allowed for competition climbing, for standardisation and safety. The free end must have an additional overhand knot as a safety backup. Athletes must use two ice axes that conform to the UIAA specifications for competition climbing. For competition speed climbing events, athletes may use ice Fifi style ice axes. All athletes must wear gloves at all times. Climbing at any point without the use of gloves is prohibited. As usual, athletes use gloves for ice climbing or golf. For difficulty competition, athletes generally use fruit boots with a bolt-on crampon having a single front point. Dimensions of crampons were established by the UIAA. Crampon front point length should be no more than 50 millimeters. For speed competition, athletes usually have two front points as it adds more stability and minimises ice fracture. Banner number or competition best number is drawn randomly. At the same time, the order in which the competitor will compete is also randomly assigned. Athletes without a banner number cannot compete. The banner number should be given to athletes by the organisers of the competition. Banner numbers must be worn on the top of all clothes and be clearly seen. Only one competitor may climb on a given route at a time. Multiple routes may be occurring at the same time and shall not interfere with each other. When a competition route is closed, it is not allowed for competitors to view the route, route setting or watch other competitors climbing at any time. All competitors must report to and wait in a predetermined and chaperoned isolation zone. Competitors may watch other athletes climb only after the competitor has finished their attempt. Isolation zones shall be equipped in a way suitable for changing clothes, warming up and mental preparation. A warm-up area will be allocated within the isolation zone. Generally, a full set of holes used on the routes will be made available either on the warm-up area construction or for general preview. For any given route, inspecting accessible holes and viewing hold order from the ground are the only information that competitors may obtain before climbing. It is not allowed to use mobile phones, laptops, cameras etc. in the isolation zone, as information gathered during a competition can be a powerful advantage. Use of any of the above is considered cheating. Competitors should also not communicate with anyone beside the officials or other competitors during preview or during isolation. Competitors are allowed an equal and standardised preview of the route for a specified time allotment prior to the competition. The route shall be demonstrated by a rope that will be clipped in succession through all protection points that must be clipped during progress of the climb. At the time of the preview, it is allowed to touch holes only reachable from the ground. The competitor must keep both feet on the ground during the preview. It is not allowed to shoot still photos or video during the preview or access any still photos or videos during isolation. However, it is allowed to view the route with monocular or binoculars and athletes may draw the route on paper as a reference for during isolation. Commencement of the competition shall begin approximately 10 to 15 minutes after the route preview has terminated and all athletes have returned to the isolation zone. For the difficulty competition, there is a predetermined time allotment. More time is granted as routes become longer and more sustained. Both tools must be placed on the first hold. Time starts when the first ice axe is removed from the start hold. If the competitor places a foot back onto the ground, their time has ended. Generally, the first or second protection point will be pre-clipped for safety purposes. The route is completed if the athlete clipped the last quick draw and both ice tools are in the finish hold and weighted by the competitor. A climbing attempt is terminated if 1. Competitor falls and weights the rope or touches the ground. 2. Time is expired. 3. Equipment is dropped or lost. 
4. Climbing out of boundaries. Boundaries shall be clearly marked. 5. Using the very edge of climbing construction. 6. Using assistance from outside, before or during attempt. 7. Using the elements of the climbing structure that are prohibited. All protection points must be clipped in order of succession. One cannot pass a protection point, then clip a further protection point, then return and retroclip the unclipped protection point. The climber must unclip back to the point of the unclipped protection point and then proceed. The high point scored is the highest in succession clipped protection point. It is allowed to hold the ice tools with the wrist, but it is not allowed to hang with ice tools from the elbows or knees. It is also not allowed to enchain or sit on the tools. In case of technical incidents, Attempts may be repeated again. The competitor must call for a technical as soon as it occurs. Technical incidents include broken hold or hold that changed original position, incorrectly placed quick draw, when the competitor does not have enough slack to clip the rope. In the case of a technical incident, the competitor may repeat an attempt after two subsequent competitors. The high point on the second attempt trumps the previous attempt. Attention, ice breaking is not a technical incident. Scoring. The first priority is number of clip protection points, hole points. Thereafter, the hold that was taken by the competitor is counted, but contributes a lesser amount than the protection point. For example, the fourth protection point was clipped and 12 holes were fully weighted. The score is 4.12. Holds are counted as climbed if the competitor takes the ice tools out from the previous hold. If the competitor touched the working edge of the next hold, they gain an additional 0 0.001. So in protocol, the score will be 4.121. No points are awarded for movement and missing the hold. If the competitor waited the next hold, but the second ice tool is in the previous hold, the competitor gains 0 0.002, so in protocol the score will be 4.122. If there exists multiple top outs on the same route, the athletes with the least amounts of time will have the best place overall.